Welcome to episode number two of the Chronicles of Iris 101, our behind the scenes lore series where I highlight different topics that are important to the setting. Today, I'd like to celebrate the fact that our book reached 100% funding on Kickstarter, thanks in no small part to the wonderful people who saw some of our Rat Folk illustrations on Twitter, drawn by the talented Andrei Glumikov, and decided to back our project. The Rat Folk, or Ratavir, as the Erosir called them, are a type of wilderkind, woodsy animal folk created by the Lord of Beasts, Tolgamir, one of the nine gods of Iris who walked the world in recent history. Tolgamir was a titan, but he was too weak to spawn life from the void, so in order to satisfy his desire for creation, he enchanted woodland creatures with his own essence, and they took on aspects of humanity both in form and in disposition. The Wilderkind lived in Grunkris Forest, an enchanted wood far to the north, along with a large number of poor human settlers who tended to the woods and peaceful stewardship. One day, the witch lord, Olhagem, began to assault the people of Iris, and his armies of goblins threatened to overwhelm Grunkrist. The peaceful villagers, having no military, couldn't rely on the small numbers of Wilderkind there to protect them. Instead, they were forced to beseech the Lord of Beasts to grant them the power to defeat the invaders and save their people. Tolgamir felt pity for them, and granted them the only power he could muster, which was that of Metamorphosis. From his magic, the people of Grunkrist were reborn as Wilderkind in mystical transformation, and they used their newfound bestial abilities to slash through the armies of the Witch Lord, freeing the land of the North from his stranglehold. Afterward, many of these folk considered their fate a curse, while others viewed it as a blessing. The Rat Folk, on the other hand, among the smallest and weakest of the Wilderkind, while not entirely dismayed by their current state, agreed that the vicious bloodshed which they had taken part in was too much to bear, and they left Grunkris Forest to seek their fate in the more civilized lands of Iris. The Rat Folk suffered years of hardship and sorrow, teetering just on the edge of survival, but that is a story for another day. Today, the rats dwell mostly in a place which they call Padfoot Alley, a warm and cozy village sequestered under the streets of the largest city on Taldorius. Their alchemists and adventurers are well respected and treated as equals in the city at large, but they still face unjust prejudices in the greater countryside. Thanks for listening in to episode number two of the Chronicles of Iris 101. I'll be back in the next few days with a new episode, but I'd like to thank you all very much again for your support and for helping to make this book possible.